greed. It tears us all down eventually. Heck, that's what this is all about. We rob, we plunder, we kill. All for a bit more wealth and another day of freedom. But we all know the truth. There's only one way out of this pirate life. And if it's not at the end of a rope, it's usually a shot in the back from a pistol of a crewmate. The Republic of Pirates was meant to be different. But the greed got to them too. Turning on one another like that. Damn shame what they did to your old man. And now they're carving up the archipelago between the three of their crews. Lucky Jack Howell and the self-proclaimed raiders of the Caribbean. Scar and his gallows men. And Matilda Barbero, leader of Los Guerreros. They had it all. Spanish gold by the galleon and a nice slice of the Caribbean to call home. They couldn't play nice, could they? Well, if it's revenge you want, I'm with you. I owe your old man that much. We're one ship against three fleets, but they aren't expecting us. We'll make for the archipelago and set up on an isolated island before they get wind of our intentions. Revenge for your father and the chance to build something better. This is the archipelago, all right, but it's far too dangerous to continue out in the open. Let's stick to the shallows for now. What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor? What will we do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Aye! That was a close call. The archipelago's in chaos after the collapse of the Republic. We'd better hunker down on Galley Island for now. Come up with a plan. Let's start with a dock to house our supplies. We want to take the fight to our old companions. We'll need men. There are plenty of rough and ready types looking for work, so long as we give them somewhere to stay and something to do.
Salvaging materials from wrecks is good and all, but we've got plenty of resources at our fingertips on the island, too. We'll need a steady supply of wood for what's to come. Should set a couple of the lads to moving goods from place to place. It's more efficient to dump materials at a depot so they don't have to carry them so far. The more we provide for our workers, the happier they'll be. The happier they are, the more they'll contribute. Cutthroat pirates have needs too, you know. We spotted some floating barrels not far from the coast. It might be nothing, but it could be something too. Well, the barrels were empty, except for a bunch of letters from the British West Indies Company about claiming some island or another. Nothing that mentions treasure. Mary Connor. Here's someone you want on your side in a fight. She's a tough old gal, can hold her own in a naval battle or a tavern brawl just the same. The men all look up to her. 
She was once at Jack's right hand. He must have done something really stupid to piss her off. Besides knocking off your old man, that is. If we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the former Republic, we could do with her directing our ships and not theirs. John, is that you? Thank God I found you here. Jack double-crossed me. Well, I was trying to betray him first and he found out, so... Anyway, the fair lady's in a pretty bad state. Help us out, won't you? Captain, the men reported several ships heading directly for us. Looks like we've been discovered. Let's put the fair lady's firepower to some use. Thank you, Captain. I think the lads and I are in a capable pair of hands with you. We'll be staying a mite longer if you don't mind. How about a drink to celebrate living one more day, eh?
The lovely Isabella Rojas. Cunning, pragmatic, seductive. Everything a good madam needs to be. She worked under Jack for a long time, but he never could see past her soft skin and appreciate the tact and charm underneath. I'm glad she gave that lecherous prick a taste of his own medicine. The brothel girls trust Isabella with their lives, and she does everything in her power to make them comfortable. I think she'll be invaluable to our cause. Just try not to fall for that alluring look in her eyes, you hear? Captain, I'm happy to make your acquaintance. My name is Isabella, and I have a proposition which might be of interest to you. The men need a little distraction, wouldn't you say? The bordello is open for one day. One day. And the girl is dead. I will not stand for this. You either kill the prick who did it and make an example of him or provide protection for the rest of the girls.
Jack knows where I am and is coming for me. I won't run away again. Let's prepare for his arrival. Lucky Jack Howell. What a cowardly shit of a man. If treachery and deceit wore skin, it would look like this prick. Never one to enter a fight with the odds stacked against him, he prefers to meddle from a safe distance. Jack doesn't look you in the eye when he pulls the trigger. He gets someone else to do it, usually a friend. Even with all the crews he's double-crossed or swindled, he's somehow avoided waking up with a dagger in his eye. That's why they call him Lucky. That luck has to run out sooner or later. You look familiar. I'm sorry for what happened to your father. Awful accident, that. Don't let it put any silly ideas like revenge in your head. This archipelago is ours. Make any trouble, and something might just happen to you, too. So, there's no avoiding it. Jack knows we're here. The way I see it, we either pack up and leave, or we pick up the pieces, repair our fleet, and take the fight to the bastards that wronged us twice. What's it gonna be, Captain?
Any captain worth their salt will be at the captain's inn. Feel free to pick the captain you like the look of. Just remember, you can't have them all. Jack sent a scout to keep an eye on us. Maybe the bastard knew we weren't going to take a beating and fall in line. Let's send him to the bottom of the ocean.
I don't know about you, Captain, but seeing that scout ship fall beneath the waves damn near brought a tear to my eye. I think we've got a fighting chance of pulling this off, but we'll need hardy materials. There's a clay deposit on Rat Island that we can use to start brick production. We just need to clear out the ragtag pirates that have set up there. <laughs> 